So let me uh, pick up where we left off on this exercise that we I actually created a link in here with it. So let me bring over um, the this is what your current web page. I had the, the non-breaking space uh, as a placeholder in here with it and we're going to fill out some of these uh, in this table right here with it. So you notice that each one of these is what you know this is um, um, last time we did this was you, know, you had a column span of this is the first row right here so you have a, a table header with a column span of three but inside each one of these columns you have dates descriptions and assignments that I'm going to ask you to fill in some of these stuff that's in here with as practice with it and this is your index page this is my local index page with it so in here where I have my first placeholder, it's, it's, it's just a blank space where my cursor is pointing at this will be this right here. All right, so I'm gonna replace it with today's date. Now, um, just to let you know, this, this video is very generic. Uh, I'm gonna put a timeline, it's in the future. I don't know, uh, I wanna say today's date is at like 07, uh, 11 slash 20, some a year is 2029. Okay, 2029 is the year. So let's say, let's say we did that. Um, I properly punctuate this, and then we have here is for example, this is linked to your class exercise. Uh, the description of this is class exercise links uh, from uh, link uh, class exercise number one. Um, no, this is we need to give a description. I'm sorry, so I'm going to call this thing the description column with it. So um, practice practice our anchor uh, anchor. Let's just do this. Makes it easier. Um, anchor link. How's that with it? So. Uh, Hyperlink. Sorry, I can't make up my mind, could I? Okay, so we're just just a simple with it. You know, you can write more if you want to, even better with it. The third column would be this. So I'm going to link the hyperlink. If you recall, replacing that non-breaking space ampersand non-breaking space. I'm going to go in. Uh, I'm going to take. I'm going to use the a h r e f for reference. And where am I going with this? So the link is, uh, I'm going from my index. Here's my index. This is my index page with it. I'm going into my directories class exercise one, right? Class exercise one. And it's linking to the hello world, okay? So inside of this, I need to give it a path, all right? Open up the quote, okay? And if you can see the moment I hit the quote, it knows to go to the pull down is I just click on class size one forward slash means go into the directory change directory right and and it tells me which one of this do you want to connect well I'm going to connect to my HTML for me so uh, it gives if you did this right and it gives you the IntelliSense pull down it just kind of guides you through this all right so I have this put in right now and what I like for all of us to do is uh, in the future, all the assignments, dates, and description, all that, you do all that stuff here with it. So, uh, what does this look like on the other side, for example? I'm going to do, con again, the white dot needs to be saved. Control S saves it. And I'm going to bring over what this looks like over here. All right. So, it looks like here's the date, here's the hyperlink. Oh, look, I didn't do this right. I have a syntax error, but it is a link. Let me fix that, what's going on with it. So, I have an extra. This is what I'm talking about is I have an extra uh, greater than sign over there. Just backspace that out. It should, clo it should close off because I had two of them. So this is um, the proper syntax for that. And all that sits between the table data. Okay, sits between the table data. So make sure you have that and your path works and everything with it. I'm going to control S, saves it again. I'm going to take it over here. Now I'm going to show you something. Uh, it's blank right here right you see this this is blank right now so I need to give it this is all between I have to close off that anchor link with it so closing off the anchor link forward slash a and it's between it's between my anchor link that I need to actually to put a, the name of that 
So it's between that, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put in um, the name of the exercise with it. So this is gonna be called class exercise number one, okay? So control S saves it, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like with it. So here it is with it. So let me put that underneath it. So here's what we just typed in. This class size, if I click on it, it takes to our hello world page, right? And I need to create a link back to our index page with it, and that's how that page will. So you might say, hmm, why, how do I get that back to that index page with it? So if you go in and pull up your hello world, look. Now, I want to talk to you, this is the hello world.html with it. This is the ankle link that we just put in there with it. Now, I want to introduce you, if you remember that we did the dot dot syntax in my video of, in class as number one, remember that, in the DOS? So the dot dot means what? It goes to the parent directory because you're sitting inside of the class ex1. This file belongs inside, this hello world belongs inside of the class ex1 folder. The dot dot tells you to go to the parent directory, meaning coming outside of that, and then coming down to index. All right. So if I don't have this dot dot, which means that I'm saying it is I want you to link to index, and index is not in the same directory right now. Index is at the level of the directory of the class ex1. So that's why you have the dot dot backslash. So you need to come out of it at the same level as class ex1 and then go to your index. That's a he that's a very important concept to grasp, okay? So between the two pages that you have right now, here's your index page. So we need to be able to link to and from our assignments with it. So I'm going to go from class exercise and back to our page with it. So uh, for the rest of the course, you're going to be filling up th this chart. All right, I gave you 10 uh, rows for to start, but in the future it could add up to about 16. All right, so and after you're done with this and every exercise, you have to upload this page and its content to the server. All right, so so that's what needs to take place. All right, so. We're approaching seven minutes. This is a good stopping point. I'm going to stop right now, and then uh, we're going to take on to the next part to it. Thanks.